Hi guys, welcome to my channel. Today we're going to be looking at a challenging trigonometry question. So let's get straight into it. Solve for theta is between 0 and 2 pi. Sine 2 theta plus cos 2 theta plus 1 is equal to root 6 cos theta. Giving your answers in terms of pi. So the first thing we're going to do is replace sine 2 theta with 2 sine theta cos theta. And cos 2 theta with 2 cos squared theta minus 1. Now clearly here the minus 1 and the 1 are going to cancel. So we're left with 2 sine theta cos theta plus 2 cos squared theta is equal to root 6 cos theta. Now rearranging gives us that 2 cos squared theta plus 2 sine theta cos theta minus root 6 cos theta is equal to 0. And we can factor out cos theta to give us cos theta multiplied by 2 cos theta plus 2 sine theta minus root 6 is equal to 0. Now there are two cases in which this equation can be satisfied. So the first is when cos theta is equal to 0. And this gives us that theta is equal to pi by 2 or 3 pi by 2. Now the second case is when 2 cos theta plus 2 sine theta minus root 6 is equal to 0. Or in other words, cos theta plus sine theta is equal to root 6 over 2. Now in order to solve this, we need to write cos theta plus sine theta in its harmonic form. What this means is we rewrite it as r sine theta plus alpha is equal to root 6 over 2, where r and alpha are constants that we need to find. Now we can use the sine angle addition formula to get that this is equal to r multiplied by sine theta cos alpha plus cos theta sine alpha is equal to root 6 over 2. Now expanding gives us that r sine theta cos alpha plus r cos theta sine alpha is equal to root 6 over 2. Now note that we must have that r sine theta cos alpha is equal to sine theta and r cos theta sine alpha is equal to cos theta. From this it follows that r cos alpha is equal to 1 and r sine alpha is also equal to 1. Now squaring these two gives us that r squared cos squared alpha is equal to 1 and that r squared sine squared alpha is equal to 1. Now we add these two equations to get r squared cos squared alpha plus r squared sine squared alpha is equal to 2. Factoring out r squared gives us r squared cos squared alpha plus sine squared alpha is equal to 2. Now we know that cos squared plus sine squared is equal to 1. So now we have r squared is equal to 2, or r is equal to root 2. But how do we find alpha? Well, we can plug this back into this equation, and this will give us that root 2 sine alpha is equal to 1, or sine alpha is equal to 1 over root 2, and therefore alpha is equal to pi by 4. So this gives us that root 2 sine theta plus pi by 4 is equal to root 6 over 2, or sine theta plus pi by 4 is equal to root 6 over 2 root 2. Now rationalising the denominator we get root 12 over 4 or root 3 by 2. Now since theta is between 0 and 2 pi we know that theta plus pi by 4 will be between pi by 4 and 9 pi by 4. So we need to find all values of theta plus pi by 4 between pi by 4 and 9 pi by 4, such that the sine of it is root 3 over 2. So this is, gives us pi by 3 and 2 pi by 3. And subtracting pi by 4 from both sides, we get that theta is equal to pi by 12 and 5 pi by 12. So this gives us all of our final answers. So how did you find this question? Let me know in the comments below. If you enjoyed, please like and subscribe and share it to a friend to see if they can solve it too.